Hey everyone, Merrick's here bringing you another video. This one I'm going to be taking a final look at uh, Kevin Owens, Relentless. Um, I've played him a bunch, uh, tried a bunch of different skill plates, and found what I believe is his best uh, setup for the big boom, and also um, a more consistent setup. So... Um, all of this is going to be stuff you can run in feud uh, with MP trainers and stuff. You can be turn one. So we're going to take a look at two very different feud setups for him. One is going to have very consistent damage, but uh, not nearly as high of a top ceiling. And the other one, um, and I'll run a bunch of matches for the other one. So you can see, makes the um, lot machine build way, way more consistent. Um, so it's set up for the slot machine build. When this plate initially came out, I didn't really think there was anyone it was good on. Still don't until KO came out. This plate is very, very good on KO. It's going to be on here for the duration. It doesn't help with the first build. It will on the second. Whenever you break four or more red gems, make four random gems into red gems at the end of your turn. And we'll get more into that as we play it. Uh, it works very well on KO. makes him super consistent. I played over 50 matches with this one on and didn't get past turn two, so I feel safe to say that is the most consistent best play for the uh, trap gem build we'll see in the second one. Strap is nothing amazing. Um, as you can see, only 70% red gem damage between everything, and this move metal isn't really going to come in useful on any of these, so not a big deal there. Um, Move set for this first one, and this is the consistent one. It's going to have the stunner, deal 81k damage, and choose a 4x3 area to swap into red gems. Super kick, 7 MP yellow, deal 86k damage, and swap a 1x7 area into purple. It's random. Cannonball, 5 MP yellow, deal 65k damage, make 7 random gems into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, gain 4 purple MP. If broken by you, increase the damage of all your gems by 127% for 3 turns. You will notice there is no way to get back to the yellows. So this one, you either want General's Orders or time once again to get yellow um, back for those moves if you need it a second time. Entourage, like I said, this is Feud Setup. So double yellow MP and then red gem damage and any colored gem. Um, slight chance of Cascade on turn one. I'll run like three matches with this build and then more with the second build because that's the more random. Um... Because the 1x7 is a random area, there's always that chance to cascade. Um, but, you know, uh, let's see what happens. Also, keep in mind in Feud, you're going to get three more Trap Gems than you're seeing here. And that's going to be important, because these Trap Gems are what make this build go, increasing the gem damage. And so right now our reds are... Here, I'll just pull it up like this. Our red gems are 18k. That's what we want to focus on. Sometimes this will break trap gems, sometimes it won't. Sometimes it'll pin, sometimes it'll won't. But for those that don't like using two MP trainers, so we didn't get a pin there. Obviously, time once again, um, you get three yellow MP. Now, um, we did... Let's see. We did break some trap gems, so we're up to 42k red gem damage. And this is making 12... Um, so at 50k, 12, that should be 600,000. But what the way these trap gems work is if you hit them with the move, they're going to apply after. So we should be about 600,000, but we're going to break three more trap gems here. And you'll see we'll hit way harder than 300,000, or 600,000, I'm sorry. Probably like 2 million. Yep. 1.89 million because the way it works um, is that boost damage goes into effect before the gem damage resolves. If you've ever played Magic the Gathering, uh, think of it like the stack. Once you break the trap gems, that goes to the top of the stack and the actual gem damage goes to the bottom of the stack. So the top of the stack is resolved first and then the bottom. So any point, if you break those with those red gems, you're going to get that boost. So it's very consistent. As long as you can get like four or five trap gems, you're going to get a lot of turn one wins um, with KO that way. 
And I'll run it, like I said, like three times real quick now and show you what I mean now that I've explained the way the trap gems work. I kind of alluded to it in my preview, <clears throat> but I wasn't <clears throat> wasn't a hundred hundred percent sure. It just it ha I was pretty sure it had to. Um, now I'm absolutely positive this is the way it works, um, and I figured I would share that information. Again, General's orders time once again help you recycle if you need to. Um, and this is if you only want to run one MP trainer and not two of the four MP trainers. So we got no trap gems this time. And that's why this is going to be so much better in Feud. Because in Feud with three extra trap gems, you're going to get a lot more uh, traps. This time we're probably only going to break three. Because um, they're spread so wide. So it probably won't hit us hard, but we sh still should be well over a million. Yeah, one three. Um, of course, if you have Steamboat, this build set gets even better for an extra trap gem. <clears throat> but I think uh, in feud with three of those extra uh, trap gems, you're going to catch anywhere probably most times from five to five to six, I would say, and get some pretty big pins very, very consistently. The only danger is the one by seven causing a cascade. So I'm just going to run three in a row. This will be the last one with this build set. And then we're going to switch the other one, and I'll probably run six to eight for you guys so you can see the consistency of the slot machine build. KO is super fun. Like, there's a lot of debate. Well, he uses yellow, and a ton of people use Kofi, and he's maybe sometimes not super consistent, but... For me, flat out. See, here's an early pin. We did get some trap gems, though. Um, so you can see we still did a bunch of damage. And if they kick out, um, you're likely going to be very loaded. So that's great. That kind of shows you a little bit of everything with this build set. Anyway, KO's super fun. I'm going to take him to uh, five-star gold super quick. Because there just isn't anyone else on my roster that can do what he does this is my favorite build and you can substitute this blast gem move that we're going to put in for any of the moves you actually like you could use the sub turns out the sub isn't worthless um, you can use it to essentially blow up the board because it's making 12 random yellows the reason i like this move so much this pop-up power bomb is it'll be loaded in feud with one red match so if you completely whiff on turn one, as long as you get a red match out of it one time, then this is loaded and you're going to blow up the whole board the next time around. Um, so this would be my preferred move set for him. Um, so the two moves, the Argentine Neckbreaker, 5 MP purple, deal 65k damage, make 11 random gems into trap gems. Broken by your opponent, gain 4 yellow MP. If broken by you, swap a 1 by 3 area into random gems. And then the pop-up power bomb, 86k, makes six random gems into blast gems. Um, so when this is here, with all of this going on, uh, it just blows a ton of stuff up. So the Colossal Plate uh, makes this way more consistent because it's chucking more red gems, and you already have red gems, so you're getting way more board destruction. If you don't have that, and I don't, um, the Twilight Ritual Plate, when you break red, um, I believe, actually, let's take a look. Because I'm going to say it wrong because I get it mixed up. It might be purple, but I think it's red. Yeah, when you break three or more red gems, make seven blue into purple. Uh, is a good second option for a swipe plate. You could use kind of almost a lot of different swipe plates, but you know there's going to be a decent amount of red on the board, so I would suggest that one. Um, entourage, we need to make one change. we got to bring woods in uh, for the purple MP. And that's the downside to this build is the two MP trainers for feud. But it is a heck of a lot of fun. And I'm going to run a bunch of matches with this because it's way more consistent with the Colossus Plate. Like I said, I probably uh, ran at least 50 matches. A uh, bunch on stream, a uh, bunch off of stream. And it's very, very consistent this way. Um, I haven't went past turn two once out of those 50, to my knowledge. So now that I'm making a video, I'll probably whiff every turn. Also keep in mind in Feud, you're going to have three more uh, trap gems of each one. And that is significant. So, 
try and pay attention where you're putting your traps. Because um, this is the one you want to get at least one of broken, preferably two if you can. And I'll talk about one other thing that was... Um, I, I don't have... Oh, this is perfect right here. These blacks. Um, I, I, this, I don't have like Memrock. I don't have Taker. I don't have Invisina. So I haven't done a lot of Trap Gym, guys. I was talking to Red Bull Rages, who has Memrock. That's been one of his favorites. And because of the way the gems come out, th one by three vertical, if you can, taking a horizontal swipe here makes it less likely for your gems to whiff. So this is the one we're going to take. And thank you for that tidbit, Red Bull. Now you can see we're going to do some stuff here. And now the colossal plate's going to go off. And it goes off twice uh, for some reason, but I'm okay with it. So you can see this is a turn one um, where we do 1.2 million. Blast gem move is loaded, and both of our other moves are going to be loaded if he kicks out. And the next turn would be simply huge. But that Colossal Plate is going to do quite a bit for us. So I'm going to just run a bunch of these really fast. Um, so you guys can see the consistency. We'll see if anyone gets past turn two and how many get past turn one. A lot of turn one wins this way now uh, with this Colossus Plate. Trap gems are going to go out. Ideally, this red, these two reds here, if we get something there, would be great. Uh, do have a vertical row break, but like I said, we want to stay away from those if possible. Um, I'm not going to, yeah, I guess that's the route we're going to go, because I don't like where any other traps lined up. No whiff here, so that's good. Now here comes the almost plate twice. And you can see it does a lot for us again. And there's a turn one of 4 million. Well, 3 million. So we're two for two on turn one wins. Let's just keep this rolling. We're gonna go through a bunch of matches here because a lot of people were concerned with the randomness of KO and um, I have notoriously bad luck, and I also was using, um, forget which plate I was, but I do not like, the two words for you, I do not like that on him at all. Um, at all. After having used it a lot, that one's a hard pass for me. Because you make it so you miss too much when your gems go out. Um, likely Blue Bomber would be better. But still probably not ideal. Yeah, no, I think Blue Bomber would probably be better. Uh, but I didn't try that one, so. Let's see where we get our gems. We're going to take this. This was one buff and one um, other. And this will give us a vertical. And likely avoid issues. Let's see how we come out here. Again, this is going to be another case where the almost plate totally bails us out. And we're going to hit super hard on turn one. Six million reduced on turn one, right? So... That's three for three on turn one wins against a striker. I'll run at least two more for you guys. Now, I did play the, with the swipe plate on him, 
and um, that's not quite as good as the almost plate, the Twilight Ritual, but it is pretty good. Um, with that in the Blast Gem, I know I didn't get past a turn three, and I think most were turn one or two. Like, I would say over 90%. I played at least 20, 30 matches with that. Probably more. Um, but if you can get your hands on an almost plate, this build for KO is going to be a heck of a lot of fun. So I didn't, I didn't want one at all, and now I did. And I wasn't super paying attention to my trap gems here. So, great. Good job, good job, me. Because um, I was talking too much. Let's do these two yellows, because then we'll also drop a purple. They're vertical, and we should come out roses here. Now it's the almost as plate to shine, time to shine. You can see again adds a bunch of extra damage for us, just a bunch. And that puts us to 3.6 mil reduced to 2.8. So again, that's four for four turn one wins. And just that one, we got a win with a small pin, right? So I would say really we're th in Feud, realistically, um, we'd be at three for four turn one wins. Um, and that other one, you know, second turn, we would have been blowing up the entire board, so. All right, let's pay attention where we want to go with these traps. We're going to do this one here. Here comes the almost plate. Big plays, getting us extra stuff. So you can see we still clear 2 million damage. And then everything is loaded for turn 2 if someone were to kick out. Um, that's, that's 5 for 5. You know what, I'll do one more just to see if we can get a kick out here. And these are all uh, recorded in a row. You can see there's no breaks in the recording. Um, I didn't edit any of this. I didn't cut it. I'm just playing him in a row so you guys can see real world what he's going to play like. And I probably, with the chase card each month, um, get. I think I'm going to do this normally where, depending on the chase, right? If they're super clear cut, then maybe not. Um, but where I do the video kind of the first day like everybody else, but then I keep him on the, my roster and explore a lot more possibilities, um, like, you know, within a, within a, the first week of it being out for sure, but I just had so much more time to play him now. And let's check our matches, see what we get here. Uh, um, this is really good, so it's hard to pass up a three match even if it's uh, vertical. I have a one horizontal here that I don't particularly love. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take the three. Obviously, that was the right choice. And a lot of it, too, guys, keep in mind, I haven't had a trap gem guy like this. So getting to play extra, uh, talking to Red Bull with how they work and line up, um, and then the swipe plates has made a huge difference. So. Uh, he's much less random than I made it appear in the first video, simply because I'm not a trap gem expert. So there you guys go. I think that's enough. I mean, six for six in feud, likely it would have been five for six turn ones with a turn two, um, with this move set. And then of course you saw the other one, what it can do really consistent, just slightly prone to, uh, early pins. Cause you can't choose where that one by seven goes. So let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, hopefully you enjoy this video. Hopefully you find it helpful. KO's a monster. 100% I'll be taking mine to 5 star gold. If I ever get a Colossus plate, uh, that's where it's going. Uh, so remember to like, subscribe, and share as it really helps me out. 
And other than that, guys, thanks for watching and good luck out there.